Hi guys, um, first off apologies for not being around recently, um, nothing new, same reason as last time, just a big old wobble with my anxiety, so which meant I completely lost my flojo. And the things that I planned to do in March kind of got dragged out, dragged, dragged out, dragged out <laughs> over um, a couple of months because uh, I lost my sojo right bang in the middle. Um, yeah, weirdly, I got my first two projects done pretty much off the mark in March, and then halfway through cutting out my next two projects, yeah, don't know what happened, just completely lost it. And yeah, so it was a bit weird coming back to those projects and finding that I'd only cut out half the pieces and <laughs> things like that. But I, I, uh, I now have them to show you and I really love them. They're all Tilly patterns and I hope that this kind of inspires you to, if you've not sewn any before, to sew some because they're amazing and I love Tilly patterns. And yeah, so I hope you like what I've made and yeah. Uh, hopefully this goes better because I did actually film this yesterday and then I deleted accidentally deleted all of my footage so, <laughs> so I'm hoping this goes well and I don't delete it afterwards <laughs> but yeah so I hope you enjoy um, yeah so this is my first uh, make of the two months um, it is a Agnes by, of course, Tilly and the Buttons, and it's actually the second Agnes I've ever made, but this is the first successful Agnes I've made. And yeah, I really like it. It's a little bit bobbly because I've worn it so much already, but uh, yeah, sorry about <laughs> breath. Um, but yeah, I made it out of a Ponty Roma, and I was a little bit worried that the um, that's, <laughs> I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't have enough stretch in it but I think it does it's comfortable to wear and yeah I like the fit uh, I was always a bit worried that I would I always go a bit um, overboard with the seam allowance and then I ended up chopping it right back anyway so yeah I trust Tilly now <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's just because I'm new to Jersey and wasn't used to it, so. But yeah, love it. Really great instructions. Great great one if you're new to Jersey like I have been. So yeah, highly recommend. And she goes really well with the two, well, definitely one of the next things I'm going to show you. So, enjoy. So this is my first Cleo that I've made um, and I absolutely love her, she's um, yeah, she's definitely up there with my top 5 uh, favourite patterns now and she was so easy to make, it was kind of just what I needed to get back into sewing properly again and uh, yeah, really happy with her, love the fit. I did take her in a bit at the hips because um, uh, I liked the weight bit there, just it was a bit baggy up here so that was easy enough. And yeah, I'm really pleased with my fabric choice as well. Um, it was in my stash already and I had loads of it so I thought it's perfect weight for a Cleo. And if you can't see, it's all sparkly, which I love bit snazzy and I'm really pleased with the my lining of my stripes as well and down the side the pattern matching went really well I can't actually remember if I did that on purpose but we shall claim that as a victory anyway but yeah super pleased with this one goes with loads of things and yeah practical and fun which I love but yeah Big thumbs up from me. And yeah, so I shall now show you my second one. So this is my second Cleo. Um, 
I call her my clueless clear because I as you can see she's very 90s inspired and I posted the picture on Instagram I'll link my Instagram below by the way and yeah someone said that she reminded her of clueless the film so and I thought yeah it totally does <laughs> and I usually wear her with a kind of um she uh white blouse which yeah again looks very clueless inspired and um, yeah so i got the oh i got this fabric in a swap um at the sew up north uh meetup and i didn't at the time know what i was going to use use it for and then the clear came out and i was like yeah <laughs> it's got to be done and uh, yeah so she's a bit of a lightweight Cleo and I was a bit concerned that that might not work well but I think she does and I think she's a nice weight for the summer hopefully my straps are not twisted and yeah so really pleased with the way she turned out really pleased with my pattern matching not so much down the side but you can't win them all it's worse on this side but yeah super happy and yeah uh, I don't think she looks too bad with this top either so yeah big thumbs up again for me it's lots of thumbs up this time I'm pretty pleased with all my makes this month but yeah if you've not made a clear already I highly recommend it and the final one it's not a clear could have been I've got lots lined up but so I shall jump into that now. So it's a patine. Um, yeah, now one of fives I've made overall. So uh, she's definitely an old favourite of mine. So it has been a while since I've made her. And um, when I found this fabric, um, or when I saw this fabric at the Crafty Sewing Bee in Lincoln, um, couldn't resist and knew that's exactly what she had to be. Uh, it was a bit of a, it's a slightly strange fabric in the way that it's, it actually looks, you probably won't be able to see, but it looks like a jersey, but there's no stretch to it. So I just treated it like it was a woven and it worked pretty well. It was a bit slippery, but used lots of pins and... Very pleased with the way it turns out. It's super silky and very comfortable. And the elasticated waist, I'm wearing about, but it's got an elasticated waist, so makes for easy moving about and comfort. And the super big pockets are always handy. So yeah, I am in love and I have lots more planned for the summer. Really tropical, vibrant prints, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, I love her and I hope you've enjoyed watching this and yeah. So the next vlog won't be nearly as long, I've got it lined up already so yeah. Yeah, so if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and yeah, and feel free to comment below, um, say hello, leave me messages, anything, questions, I don't mind. As long as they're nice, please be nice. <laughs> but yeah, so, oh, and subscribe if you haven't already because then you'll find out when I've got new vlogs coming up. So, hope you all have a good week and I shall see you soon. Bye!